Hello all traders, today is Thursday, 3rd of October 2024 and we're going to review any trades that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 if we see low risk opportunities. If we look at the one hour macro chart, we see that the price was fluctuating between the previous day close and low during the Asian and London session in a narrow range and it's highly volatile and by looking at 10 minute macro chart we see that the price started to go up on NASDAQ and did not change on S&P 500 and it started to go down on Dow Jones. So the E-minis are not synced together. So our plan of action for today is to wait for this narrow range to break. And if the price goes above this level, we can take long positions because there's a still 100 points that we can trade on NASDAQ to take long position and if the price has started to go down we wait for the price to retest the previous level of support and then again take long position or immediately start to take sell short positions if the trend is strong. So stay tuned and we're gonna update you with any trade that we're gonna take today. So we're back and as you see the price is testing the previous level of resistance on the NASDAQ so we took sell short position when we saw the sellers came back and start to push the price lower and we're now adjusting the targets and stop loss and other limit orders and waiting for the sellers to push the price lower we just closed this on the other side of channel because the selling pressure was not as strong at that time we're gonna re-enter again when the price gets rejected at this level we wait to see any rejection of price and then enter with setup B here and you have to make sure the breakout is false and it comes back. We just entered for a quick scalp at this level and again this was setup B and since the bearish pressure seems to be strong we just immediately entered long position on the dynamic support level of the dynamic channel and close it for a quick profit on the other side of channel now that the sellers are coming back and the price got rejected we just entered another sell short position on nasdaq and close it with profit we also entered manually one sell short position on dow jones and set other limit orders above that for better price and this one also closed with atm with small profit so we're back now and we see that the price broke that level and is also testing the previous level of close and the buyers are strong on NASDAQ. So we're waiting for the pullback and setting up limit orders to take long positions for a quick scalp on NASDAQ. And we just close it on the upper area of the channel. and also entered one limit order position on Dow Jones when there was a slight pullback in the middle of channel and waiting for the price to reach the upper area of channel and close it with profit that one was also closed with profit so the market is choppy and is still in a narrow range in the past two days so that's enough for the day and all the signals were copied by copy trader multiple apex trader funding accounts with different ratios and you see here the performance of one of these accounts that shows it was positive with profit factor of 99 which is infinite because we had 100 percent win rate so a profit factor cannot be calculated and also win to loss ratio we see that we had 100 percent win rate from the three long positions and four such short positions we can see that the average winning trades were $162 and the largest winning trade was $450. So hope these live trades taken by the PATH system for fast scalping is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.